Hello. Okay. I don't know why that's my new thing. I just started noticing that every beginning of video, I'm always like doing this. <laughs> uh, welcome back, guys. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. And, and, uh, welcome to the new follower that right as I was getting ready to push the start stream button, I saw the notification go off. Uh, new follower is the THC 101. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, guys, so just a quick, just a quick thing. Uh, remember, guys. If you would like to feel like you are sitting on a beautiful, beautiful clouds in the heavens, and that while you're doing a very long stream, like some of these streamers do, you know, eight, ten hour streams, get yourself a gaming chair from Triumphant Games, and you can sit in comfort and not kill your butt. <laughs> So, use my code, nice out gaming, to get 10% off. Alright guys, so here we are. Let's go, let's just hop right into it. Alright, 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 alright guy, alright guy. Let's get going. Whoa, whoa. Hey there guy, hey. Car. That's a nice one. I'll take that one. We interrupt this segment of Empire Clip. Let's go. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna take out the uh oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I thought I was gonna take out the fire hydrant again. Cause I've only done that a few hundred times already. Whoops. There go those tail lights. Let's go, let's go. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Let's go, baby, let's go, baby. Hit 140, 140. Hit the brakes. Okay. That was awesome.
All right, let's eat something. <laughs> I can't get enough of those damn classic ham and cheese sandwiches. Mmm, <laughs> stale bread. As you know, I don't ever put freaking bread away. Ever. Okay, telephone, telephone, telephone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a uh, veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Veto. You got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. Oi. Hey, Malt, what's going on, man? Uh, the Mafia has been good. It has been a lot of fun. I'm so glad that I got this. Ooh, my car's all fucked up. Shit. We're gonna fix it. Yeah, I am so glad I got this. And it's not gonna take as long to beat. Not long at all. We're already eight hours in, and the game's only like... 12 hour game. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> the direct, yeah, the direct, direct opposite. Where are you at on it now? Because last night, I couldn't make it to your stream. I was too busy trying to get editing software that would work on my laptop. Oh, Vito, you here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute. Man. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, 
About time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe. I wonder why. Oh. Heh. <laughs> right. You drive here? I took a cab. I park my car and Are there any DLCs finish your drinking let's with go. Persona? You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. Oh. You gotta be kidding. Fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh boy. I was just. You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. Whoops. Alright, alright, I'm gone. Nice job. Nice job, you idiot. <sighs> to where? Back room? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to guess that you're not doing the DLC stuff. Okay, I think that's it in here. Okay. Oh, so you are going to do the DLC. Holy shit. Then you're going to be more like 120 hours into the game. <laughs> Well, okay, extra content. <clears throat> so what are you doing next? Once the once you uh, finish Persona? What's next? I I could have sworn you were gonna do The Last of Us. Before the main game come or not the main game, the new game comes out. Man, I left my beautiful car there. To drive his drunk ass home. It's fucked up.
Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, that game, whatever, it's uh, Lisa. I do not know that game. At least I don't think I do. Yep, that was going to be the next thing I was going to uh, tell you that um, if you were going to do um, the Yakuza series, that you needed to start with Yakuza 0. Whoops! At my tailpipe's hanging off, that's funny. All right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey. I'm sorry about Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Eventually, I do want to do the Yakuza series. I just got to, uh... I just got to find time. And now that I think about it, because that was the other thing I could have sworn you mentioned the other day, do you have a YouTube channel, too? Damn, it's foggy as shit out. Okay, okay, all right, so All right, um Drop drop your channel name in there for me or I'll either, uh, Do that and I'll probably wind up also asking you on one of your streams as well because uh, I Got my own YouTube channel, too. I don't know if you know that or not
Okay, awesome. Once I am done with the stream, sir, I will uh, head over to your uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, I've been... I've been building my YouTube channel for... Fuck. Five years now, I think? By all means, I should have a lot more subscribers than I do, but... What are you going to do? I need a fucking car now. Guess we're doing this one. Right? It's the only car here. Yeah. Only car here. Okay. Wait, can I go talk to him now? Nope. See, at first, at first I didn't know about Twitch when I started my YouTube channel. So that's where I was putting all my videos for everything. Then as time went by, um, I didn't decide to try and be a streamer until, what was it now? Two years ago, I think, I I started on Twitch as Cowabunga Gaming. I did it for, I think I did it for a year, and I just didn't like the way that it, it was going. I felt, I don't know, I, I think I just talked myself out of it because I only had... I had a little over a hundred followers and I got it I got it in my head that in one year that just wasn't enough so I talked myself out of it and then I went to Facebook and I tried Facebook live streaming I did it for two days two days did not like it at all and then I went back to YouTube and I tried, I did YouTube live streaming for, I don't know, three months, three or four months. And it was all right. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Facebook. They, they, they wanted me to boost my channel, which is where you pay money to get my advertising out to draw people in. And I was just like, nope, no, nope, no, nope. I'm not, I, I don't want to do that. I'm good. So I did, I did YouTube for three months streaming on it. And then I had a friend talk me back into going back to Twitch. And he was just like, why don't you just create a whole new channel? Like, all right, fuck it. I will. Created a whole new channel. And then I took... Knives Out Gaming, and uh, was it last week? No, it's been two weeks, I think. Two weeks now. Uh, I completely changed everything on my YouTube channel uh, to Knives Out Gaming now. 
so here we are. I do streaming on Twitch and on YouTube. I um, I edit the videos down. I used to put the full stream videos on on YouTube. Um, but no, you're doing good. You're doing good, Mulch. You're definitely doing good. But what I decided to do on Wow, that guy drove. Wait, why am I? What? Copy that. That dude ran into me. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, shit! But, yeah, um. In pursuit of a speeding I, uh. I cut down. Or I edit down the time now. I I put up my first edited video yesterday from my live streams. Now I have edited videos on my channel, but uh, I put up my first edited live stream um, yesterday, or not yesterday. Uh, it just uploaded a little bit ago, so I'm gonna be cutting down my live stream videos. So let's say if I did a live stream for three hours, I'm now gonna take that video and chop it into three different parts. Because uh, a friend of mine uh, was talking to me about it, and he, he was right, he totally was right, that the people that are on YouTube they're not gonna watch a three-hour stream uploaded to your channel. They're gonna watch like 20 to maybe a half hour of that live stream and then they're gonna maybe give you a like, give you a comment, and then be on their way. So it makes your watch time on YouTube, it makes it fucking horrible actually. But if you cut your your three hour stream into three different segments so like part two one hour part three one hour part four one hour uh, my watch time will be a lot better Uh, you will, on your one hour um, chunks, you will see um, people will have a better retention to that than if you upload a six hour stream. If you upload a six hour stream, people aren't going to, they're, they're just, they're not going to give it the watch time that you need and that's what YouTube revolves around is watch time oh I don't need to do anything in there hello bed I love ya Ah, uh, see, um, who the hell is that? I didn't get like really fancy editing software, mainly because my laptop can't handle it. That's why I had to go with a 
uh, a basic edition of a cheaper video editor is what I had to go with. Um, and I'm fine with it because I really don't need to do any fancy editing. All I really want is to cut the videos down, put in a transition in the beginning of the video and a transition at the end of the video, have it be an hour or a little bit over an hour and I'm good. That's all I need. So it's not necessary for me to have like a really good editing software. Now I will say if I had a laptop or a computer that could handle good editing software, yeah, I would have gotten it, but you know. Yep, yep. You're you're doing a editing PC and then you have your gaming slash live stream PC is what I think you're doing. Oh, I have to put on clothes to answer the door? <laughs> well, that's not realistic. <laughs> I'll answer the door in my freaking boxers. I give zero shits. <laughs> what the fuck? Racing suit? All right, fuck it. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> ah. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. <laughs> this dude is ready to go. <laughs> ha! Oh, shit. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Oh, man. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's going to want to take out what's left of the family. And I should oh. hear about this. Why? Well, that is yeah. the one thing I will warn you. Are you going away? I'm sorry for what if, did to you. If you but plan him, right? on playing the mafia the games, about that old bastard. I don't know if you I do or not. Work for but if you do plan it, you want to join up with and yeah, you're going to upload it to you YouTube, him, I thought, uh, maybe anytime you, you get into a car, yeah, sure. Turn off the radio. Otherwise, Thanks you're going to get copyright claims left I and right. One. So, uh, how's life? Do you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Forever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. <laughs> you ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. 
what I'm good at. Yeah. Man, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Ain't not for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, yeah, because the uh, the other problem, exactly and that's exactly where Fallout is. games are you know difficult. I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> the other and problem you, you, is yeah. even if you turn off the damn radio, a lot of times you walk into a store or a restaurant or a bar that the main storyline has you do, and there's music playing in there. So the only way that you can 100% not have it happen you have to turn the music in the game completely off otherwise you're getting copyright claims left and right I think yeah I got a copyright claim on my first video I put up of this and I know I got a copyright claim on the second one I'm probably going to have a copyright claim on pretty much every video I put up but, whatever. I have no idea why I stopped at that red light. I never do that. That was weird. Front door delivery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to know what it feels like one time to actually stop at a red light. Yeah, I'm assuming Bethesda added that option to turn the world radio off. Hey, hey, Vito. Because they were probably getting so many complaints about uh, copyright claims. Spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who works for Clementi called him. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point. Unless they try something stupid. Okay, well this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh... He's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> Alright. Go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business, and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. And yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. Now what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? 
Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the camp. Yeah, I understand. Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going then. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See you. That sucks. They're gonna take out Leo. And now we're gonna go warn him. Oh. Ciao, Mr. Next thing, wait. Hold on. Good morning, Mr. Scaletta. Something to drink, Mr. Scaletta? Here you go, Mr. Scaletta. So now, why is this place marked with a burger on it? But yet, it's a restaurant. Do I just go over and look at this menu? Like, how do you eat food at this fucking place? That's kind of funny. I'm eight hours in, and I'm just now thinking about this, that... There's a burger on this place. Oh, I didn't know I could go up here. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this shit? Can I go in? Ah, oh, I can't go in. Oh, well, all right. That's pretty crazy, right? 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 I never knew you could go in here. But nonetheless. Yeah. How are you going to serve food? And it says browse the menu. Something to drink, Mr. Scaletta? But the menu is literally all... It's just beer. There's no food. Oh, well. Whatever. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scaletta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, this car's color looks like Grey Poupon. Fucking ugly color. Good God, is that ugly. Why would you want that color? <laughs> Why on God's green earth would you want this color? Man, this car's fucking bouncy as shit. Shit. Oh, shit. No. 10 no. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. No. Oh, God. Roger that. This fucking tank. <laughs> Look at this fucking tank, man. Come on, come on, you piece of shit. I don't know if I'm going to make it in time.
No! Oh my god, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I was there. Oh man. Fuck. <laughs> Whew. Hello, Mr. Scaletta. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scaletta. <laughs> oh man. That was too fucking funny. Figures. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Ten four. Ten four. We got that ten four. Oh, I can't believe how close I was. I can't believe how close I was. I was there, man. I was there. Oh well. Shit happens. What are you gonna do? Did he yell out his window stop right there? Yeah, that's gonna make me stop. Idiots. Oh! Sorry, shouldn't have been there. Shouldn't have been there. Your fault, not mine. <laughs> that's the way to take blame. <laughs> Why can't I? Why can't I? What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Why can't I get in? I don't. What the fuck? That makes no sense. I hit the fence. Apparently, the car can't get through it because it just, like, banged me up. How the fuck do you get in? Literally, that makes no sense. Why can't I get in? I don't... I really don't understand this. Why the fuck can't I get into this place? Yeah, I'm definitely confused on that one. How am I supposed to war- Oh, shit! Well, your fault, not mine. Shouldn't have gotten in my way. I'm on a timer. Get the fuck- Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, I am so fucking up the time frame on this. All right, Mulch. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I will uh, see you in your stream, my friend.
Oh shit! Hey, Dennis, what's going on, man? How do I warn Leo? How do I warn Leo? I do not know how to warn Leo. How do I warn Leo? Uh. Uh. How the fuck do I warn Leo? There we go. Oh, no, that. Nope, nope, nope. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. Oh shit! How the fuck do you warn Leo? This doesn't make any sense! How do you get. Like, the gate won't open and let me in. I don't know how to warn Leo! I'm gonna fail it again for the third time. What the fuck, man? I don't get it. All right, fuck it. I'm just looking it up. I didn't think I was going to be able to because of how bad uh, it's been. But uh, it's been holding up for the most part. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you like my outfit? <laughs> I'm totally getting a kick out of this. This is a greaser outfit. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scaletta.
<laughs> it wants to make me puke. But it's lovely, though. Why on earth didn't that cop come after me? Like, I clipped him. I heard the clip, and he just kept on going. Okay. Fine by me. All right, we got it. Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here. Oh, shut the Leo, Leo, up put it away. It's me, Vito. Vito, what the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You got to get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong? OK, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You got to get out of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in a dope business. Lied? <laughs> he Vito. didn't want to lose Look, his Falcone donuts. Falcone is in the dope business. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. <clears throat> Maybe we can fit in here. You gone nuts? Dang, man, you got a nice house. Yo, what the hell are you doing here? All right, take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and will have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. 
I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Guido, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Guido. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. <clears throat> Dang, man. That sucks. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Oh, cool. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Damn. Awesome house. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Beautiful. Alright, let's go. We're taking a car, we're taking a good one. Okay, Vito. Now get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You want to go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real oh! fast. Oh, of course it did, Peter. What did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. Gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> phone call settle my affairs. I thought I could just go I'm through it. The airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. <sighs> time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere. Sipping one of them. Nah, nah. No umbrella. Lamborghinis, no Ferraris. And sticking around here is like buying a but, ticket to the But morning. I love oh, hot rods. Oh, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never going to be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. That's just fucking brilliant. All right. 